Hi everyone and welcome to the star sign readings for the week or weeks ahead. Um, it is a timeless reading so it doesn't really matter when you're watching this but um, yeah if you're watching it as soon as it gets posted well this is for you. So we're going to start with Capricorn as usual. We're going to do three tarot cards and then we're going to do a few of these cards maybe about five of these um, and then we will do um, two messages for the star sign of Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries uh, and so on and so on. So good luck guys. Let's hope for some nice happy readings. I will not be reading the upside down tarot unless I really think it's necessary. Um, things like the moon, if it comes out upside down, I would prefer that to be upside down because it means secrets being revealed um, instead of frustration and not knowing what's going on. Um, so let's get straight to it with Capricorn energy. Let's see what's for Capricorn. I have already pre-shuffled on the card saying that um, these are for the star signs. Now we've got the wishes coming true. We've got the nine of cups. We've got the eight of pentacles. So this might be a business decision going, coming up. It might be a lot of hard work. Something you've been finally waiting for is going to happen. And we've got the four of swords. You may need to rest and relax and recuperate from something that's been going on. Now, for those of you out there that are pregnant or wanting to be pregnant, this is usually the nine months, the eight, net, eight weeks of announcement. Uh, four is representing of the baby girl. Also, you might not be feeling too great um, with the whole pregnancy. You might be feeling a little bit swept off your feet and need some sort of rest. Um, with work, I feel like a lot of you are, are working very, very hard at something you're very passionate about. Um, now, some of the Capricorns, you might actually be starting a new business and there may be something going on where you need to step back from it just a little bit. So let's get you a couple of these cards for some messages as well. Messages for Capricorn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, Capricorn, it looks like a lot of hard work's about to pay off. Um, you do have baby boy energy here. This sort of trumps the Four of Swords as baby girl. This is baby boy energy over here. Possible twins as well with the double fives. You do have some sort of male energy in spirit that's trying to help guide you at, at this time. Um, we do have work or stress and study building and building and building, but it's going to be worth it in the end. It's sort of like some sort of project starting to show some sort of benefits. Uh, there is the pentacle card there, meaning the money. So it is that the money is good as well. So let's just get some final um, message cards for you. Your final messages for Capricorn are very brief mini reading is Capricorn. Um, not too much detail this week. Okay, what have we got for Capricorn this week? Go straight to the source and also time to take time out. So yeah, it does look like some of the Capricorn people out there, you might not be feeling too well, you might be overburdened or stressed, uh, you might be pregnant at this time and need to take a little bit of rest and time out. Um, good luck with your project, it looks like it will work out. Uh, and for those of you that your wishes have finally come true and you've got a new job, don't be surprised if um, you catch some sort of bug or something and you're just supposed to start working or they do a lockdown or something in your area and your job's in a different area. Just don't be surprised if something like that happens with this Four of Swords energy sitting here on your outcome sort of area. Now the Four of Swords also can be it's someone's learning a lesson. Someone's finally starting to learn a lesson um, when I see that Four of Swords energy. Anyway, that is Capricorn. Moving right along. Let's do Aquarius. Good luck, Aquarius. Uh, now, we will not read upside down unless I really feel it's necessary. Um, what have we got for Capricorn? Um, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, you're trying to make a decision right now. It's sitting in your problem area. It's like where you make up your mind, you go home from work, you sit there and you go, right, I'm done with that, I'm moving forward. Or you go out with friends and they suggest something to you and you go, yep, that's what I want to do. I want to travel, I want to do this, I want to do that. Um, it is sitting in the problem area, so I think you've made a decision a while ago, but you haven't done anything about it yet because you're holding on to something from the past here. I do feel for some of you, you're working really hard, getting very overloaded and you're not getting the benefits, financial benefits that you should be um, out of your job right now. 
Um, it's also like you might be holding on to something emotional from the past because we do have the Eight of Cups. I do feel a lot of you might be walking away from a person, from a job, from some sort of circumstance. It, it's sort of like you don't want to invest your energies, your love, your compassion, whatever it is. You just don't want to invest your time in it anymore. Um, now the Eight of Cups can be the Eight of Hearts, which can be a gathering of people for a birthday celebration, a wedding, a new job, whatever it is. And then the Four of Pentacles would be something new that you've learned because it's Four of Diamonds. It can be learning a new lesson. Uh, the Two of Wands is where you left your commitment somewhere along the line. It's where something changed in your life and you went down a different path and now you're deciding to walk away from something. So something that you thought was balanced you're sort of a bit sad and sorry. You're, you're looking at the past going, oh, why did this person say that? Or what happened with that? Um, where's the money gone? Whatever. Uh, so you're assessing the situation and then you're gonna come out fighting. It's sort of like, that's it. I'm done with this now. Uh, this is my new journey. I'm going to something that's gonna suit me better. Um, so let's just have a quick look. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius, please. Ooh. Okay, so you have a soulmate card coming out in the past. This can be about children as well, something to do with child in the past, um, or something that you feel is a soulmate connection there in the past. Uh, you've got this eight of spades here. This is sort of like a massive argument. Um, you've got double eights here. I feel in August is the time. August may be where you're going to have some sort of big argument, some sort of stress at work, stress at home. It might be both. Um, and then you just go, that's it. I'm walking from this situation. Uh, there is two of wands and two of clubs. There is definitely something to do with a marriage here that is on the rocks. It's something or a relationship or a business partnership. It's just not working properly. Um, I feel like by June next year or in six months time, you're finally making the right decisions. This is where you be responsible for your actions. You make the right choices for you, your family, your well-being, um, and your financial future. Um, I do feel this might be a job of some kind where you're just getting very stressed here because I do feel the eight can be, the eights here, the eights are all about people communicating with each other. Um, the eight of cups is sort of like had enough, it's emotional, you've had enough of this drama. Whereas the Eight of Spades is where people are talking behind the back. Uh, people are gossiping or people are getting frustrated or angry or you yourself are going to be like that. I do feel a working energy simply because this Four of Pentacles and the Twos um, is about some sort of working partnership. You might be in a business partnership. You might work side by side with somebody. I just don't feel it's working and I feel like it's getting very stressful and there's something much, much better for you. Uh, now, for those of you asking about a love-related matter, um, somebody either born in June, um, yeah, they might be a Gemini, because we've got like this twin energy, they might be a twin, um, they might be born in June. Um, I think this is something new, or something getting more balanced, because this is like parents together as well. So if you're already in a relationship, it's been having a bit of rocky ground. In the past, it was your soulmate. There's been some arguments going on. Stress is coming through, financial stress is coming through, people talking that shouldn't be talking. Um, it looks like you're finally on track over here, making the right decisions. So let's see what your messages are, Aquarius. What do we get for Aquarius? Congratulations to those of you that are getting a new job. It looks like you're going on a journey. You might be uh, moving into a different state, different country or all of that, because this over here to me would be like eight of hearts where you're gathering with new people. Um, and eights are always money luck as well. So if you're only getting 400 a week or something, you might be getting 800 a week elsewhere. And you'll be passionate about that as well, about doing something different. I just feel there's been stress and stuff. You've been trying to make decisions here. Uh, and it, for those of you that have had two jobs presented to you, like you're in one position and there's something else sitting there, I think you're going to look at the financial side of it and then the emotional side of it and you're going to break free of it um, and move forward. Anyway, let's see Aquarius, what have we got for your messages today? You have 
slow down and take one day at a time Aquarius and you will be very happy soon what was at the bottom of the deck someone is watching you now like I said you had that eight of spades there and I don't like that someone is watching you when that one comes out because it can be that someone's watching your performance watching what you get up to um, so just be careful um, if there's something you're talking about something you're involved in whatever it is because I feel somebody's in the background watching what you're what you're doing um, okay so that's Aquarius so let's move on to Pisces Pisces we have family discussions uh, we'll turn them upright and we have judgment so some of you might be going through some sort of legal matter um, there's the family discussions now this was upside down so it could be disruption within the family uh, for some of you this may be about a fertility and pregnancy and uh, maybe some sort of medications required maybe it's IVF some sort of drama going on around uh, getting pregnant or having a baby or whatever um, the judgment card I feel this is like success and victory after some some sort of battle be sure that you're communicating with the right people that you need to I mean our friends are great but uh, when it's something serious or uh, something medical or something financial you need to go to the right the right sources unless your family is lawyers bankers <laughs> doctors um, but yeah I feel like uh, there's some sort of thing you might have an announcement of a baby a pregnancy in your family coming up because um, I'm feeling nice energy and this would be the gathering of the family all saying oh wow you know such and such is pregnant uh, so let's just get some more information for Pisces baby boy baby boy male energy now I do believe the last reading I did on the star signs that Pisces did have a lot of male energy you are going to be very happy and I you've got the card of movement so some of you are going to move house move job uh, both uh, some of you might be moving into a new circle of people um, there's a celebration here there's a lot of happiness going on here I feel someone's very very happy now this if this is about a pregnancy we do have a baby boy here we have a boy sitting here I feel some of you might be communicating with someone overseas as well now that could be to do with work and money as well um, but yeah you got the seven here the sevens usually like moving house and moving job um, and new friendships um, nice cards nice cards Pisces really really good and what messages does Pisces need to hear good luck with everything Pisces but it doesn't look like you need it really doesn't look like you need it uh, some of you might be going on a journey with a new um, person this person might be from overseas or you might be communicating with them and what I mean on a journey you might be going on a love journey uh, with what I was seeing just then uh, and also there might be someone from your past uh, going to connect with you about financial matters okay so let's have a look for Pisces messages for Pisces top of the deck we have something going on behind the scenes Pisces now it could be a nice thing um, and you're half right you need more information before you move forward also financial success like I just said I feel like someone might be communicating you with you from the past or going over the past with the finances and that is Pisces okay uh, Aries let's get straight on to Aries Aries what have we got I'm just checking my battery yes we should be able to get these all done Aries we have where you're wanting something better in your life now I'm going to leave that one upside down the three of swords is upside down um, I feel that we're dealing with a marriage or a long-term commitment here uh, someone's getting bored or someone was bored um, there's a broken heart that or betrayal that you're healing from at the moment um, so I feel that this is and I'm even feeling the, the sadness in my chest while I even look at these cards um, this is where in the past or the problem area you're just deciding is this what I want anymore now the marriage cards they were all upside down but I flipped them so the traditional values or whatever deaf do us part type thing it looks like something went wrong here but you're recuperating or somebody else is recuperating right now from a um, heartbreaks uh, that has gone on um, now the three of swords also can represent the three of spades which is the pelvic area of the body this would be a doctor and this would be a female so there may be some sort of female 
stuff going on that needs seeing to as well for some of the Aries people out there. Let's just get another message here. I like that you're re recovering over here. This is recovering after the battle. It's um, stepping away from things for a bit and just trying to mend the broken heart and work out what you want to do next. Okay, Aries. Sorry, Aries, that you got these cards. Um, okay, Aries messages are pretty much the same as Pisces. Some of you might have a moon sign as Pisces or a rising sign as Pisces. All of whatever this was, it's all going to get better. This is where truth comes out. This is movement. This is your heart contented. This is gathering of people celebrating. And this is two people that are committed to each other on the same journey. I feel like if you're in a long-term commitment and something went wrong, once you've mended that broken heart, it looks like it's all going to be smooth sailing as you move forward. If this is to a job or one of your family members, it all looks like it's turning around. Um, if this is a health related matter and the heart, this should show me that things will be okay. It's sort of like things will move forward. There's some sort of medication or procedure that could help. Okay, let's see what else Aries messages are. Messages for Aries. Be sure to watch your other signs, guys. Um, your moon and your rising, not just your sun sign. Because it paints a bigger picture. Okay, Aries messages are... You know that's not true. Taking time out and someone's trying to find you right now. So maybe the, the lies that you believed, maybe some of it wasn't um, a lie. You know what I mean? Like some of it wasn't as bad as expected because this is upside down. Um, all right, so that is Aries. Taurus, moving right along to Taurus. Taurus, you have secrets. I hate the moon card. Um, maybe around a Virgo. We got the Virgo upside down. Now, the hermit um, upside down usually means, the hermit means about being in your home, working out what you want for your future, who do you want to be around, what do you want to do, what are your wishes, what are your dreams, and you're sitting at home waiting to branch out. Now, you have the page of wands ready to set sail, ready to go on a new adventure. Got the moon, you don't know enough about something. That's probably why you went and locked yourself in your house, turned your phone off, you've tried to work out what to do next. It was upside down, that means you're going to come out of your shell. You're about to embark on a new journey. Now you may be communicating with people overseas, you may be um, planning an overseas trip, but at the moment it's like the hermit's upside down, so you want to get out of there, you want to break free. Uh, you might be living in my area or Sydney and uh, we're in lockdown. So you're thinking, when's this going to stop? I need to get out of here. Uh, some of you might be getting a new job. You've been worried in the past about not knowing enough about the job. Um, it looks like things are going to be fine over here. It's almost like a new adventure. So what have we got for um, Taurus? Wow. Stress, stress, stress. Double black sevens. I feel like July has been a hell of a month. Um, this is a new beginning, new invitation over here. I think all your hard efforts, maybe that's why you're, you've gone inside. Maybe you're studying, researching, talking to people, trying to work things out. There's forced changes around you. This can be forced change with your job, with your, your, your career path, with your your health, your family, your finances, whatever it may be, even romantic. I'm not really feeling anything romantic in the Taurus reading right now. Um, you might be dealing with people that are not well. Um, this would be the young doctor who's got the answer. Um, I just feel some of the Taurus people out there, there's a forced change of circumstances that you do not like, um, but you're about to embark on something new. So these are your saving grace cards uh, this, uh, for this reading, Taurus. Uh, let's just get some messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Whoop. They nearly all fall on the floor. Taurus, what do you need to know? Something going on behind the scenes. Things will go your way soon. And wait before you decide what you're going to do. It does look like you might have had a lot of frustration, a lot of gossip going on, a lot of um, all those black cards and then this moon card. The moon is just sort of frustration, like what the hell? 
what do I do about this? And this is where you're, you're trying to think about it being going, I'm sick of sitting around, I wanna get on my feet and go. Uh, so that's what we got for you, Taurus. Uh, let's move straight along now to Gemini. Gemini, what do we got for you guys? Ooh, we got the trip of love. Ooh, we got the Empress. Wow. You're about to embark on a very solid, beautiful relationship. Some lovely lady who is multi-talented, is very, very um, fertile, sexual, vibrant, intelligent. Got it all going on there. Now that might be you, um, Gemini. Uh, that might actually represent you right now, or this over here might represent you. We got the Knight of Cups and we got the Strength card. I feel like for those of you in a beginning of a relationship, it looks like it's gonna get stronger and stronger. For those of you, if you've had any kind of problems in a relationship, it looks like you're gonna have some loving communication here and talking about the strengths of what's there. For those of you who've been married a lifetime, um, this is looking pretty damn beautiful. If anybody's been ill or anything like that, it just looks like all the strengths coming back. Um, beautiful cards. I don't really even want to clarify. I don't want to read anything else. Uh, Gemini, let's have a look. Gemini messages. Hopefully these are nice and red to match those cards. Yep, we got some ups and downs. Um, for those of you, I did say about this person being um, fertile, pregnancy. We have the cesarean birth, we have the fertility symbol, and we have a baby girl. Um, we do have the parent missing for some reason. So for those of you that uh, have someone that works away from home or something like that and you're about to have a baby, it looks like that person won't be around you when the baby's born um, or this has already happened. Uh, we do have some sort of disagreement going on over here with this five. It can be a male energy. Um, it can be also a warning of not to do something rash at this time as well. But this is looking like a very nice loving energy. If it's nothing to do with a baby, uh, this would be a friendship that's growing, something that's getting stronger and stronger. There's some sort of communication going on. Just be careful with your communication that you're getting across the right message. Um, but this is usually happiness fun. It can be investing in something. If this is all about a job, this is something you're very passionate about, you're very talented, it's stronger and stronger, the money's good, um, the work is good, the people you work with is good. Very nice cards for um, Gemini. So let's just get some messages for Gemini as well. Messages for Gemini. Gemini, you get time to take that chance. It will be in your favor, as I can see up there. And someone has always admired you or you've always admired them. Beautiful kind of love reading you got going on there. Just don't let somebody else's values interfere in what it is you want. Just do it your way, not, not somebody else's way. Okay, so that was Gemini. Moving right along to Cancer. How's my battery going? I don't want to get halfway through it and it dies. Cancer, you get the star, you get the sun, oh my gosh. And you get the page of pentacles. Now the sun is upside down. Now the sun coming out with the star. I've told people time and time again, my two favorite cards in the deck are the, the sun and the star. So now you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, you could also be dealing with a earth sign with that page of pentacles there. Now I do say the page of pentacles is usually a child. Um, but it could be an earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, it could be news you're waiting on, but it's slow. And because it's upside down, I'm not going to read them upside down, but um, upside down could be slower than normal. Um, now the sun being upside down, the sun is all about happiness, truth, fun, laughter, gatherings, things growing, going your way. If this is all about a business adventure, this is your ideas. The sun being upside down is it's growing, but not the way you wanted. The page of pentacles is learning something new and sometimes not learning, not listening. Um, but it also is slow, slow energy. So if this is about a business, you got the right idea, keep going and it's growing. Um, if this is about a relationship and everything, I'm not really feeling that this is a relationship, but it could be. Uh, there might be some sort of truths that come out with the sun being upside down. 
Um, this being upside down, it could be around the earth sign, as I said. I always say that the earth sign is usually the page of pentacles or the knight of pentacles to me is, um, and the jack of diamonds, sorry, um, is someone that needs to grow up. Uh, someone that's doing something out of character, but you might be dealing with children at the moment as well. Uh, so let's just have a look. What's the cancer messages today? What's the cancer messages today? Looking pretty good though, um, Cancer. Out of all the cards in the deck, to get the star and the sun in one reading is pretty mega. I don't care if it's upside down or not. Um, and happy birthday to all those Cancer symbols out there. Or have we moved into... Uh, we may have moved into um, Leo energy now. Uh, I'll have to see. I, I think it is Leo energy now. Anyway, whatever time you're watching this... Um, when I'm recording it, it's, uh, it's uh, Cancer going into Leo energy. All right, so this would be a message, this being upside down, I'm just getting the message here that this can be truth revealed. This is usually post or message or email or something, photographs, whatever it is. You've been waiting on, you've been waiting on something to come through. You've been manifesting and wishing upon a star, waiting for stuff to happen. This can be truth coming out. When it's upside down, it might not be something you like too much, especially with the page being upside down because they're the messenger, but they're also the student. So it could be not learning a lesson. Um, but I'm not feeling negative energy on these cards at all, even with them upside down. Let's have a look. Five of hearts. And look at this. Wow. Okay. So we got soulmate energy, we got happiness, we got reunion, making up, apologies. We got some sort of financial adventure, movement forward. You could be changing jobs, address. You could be finally finding that group of people that you, you mix with well. Now, again, we do have this eight of spades here. This can be gossip and lies and secrets. It can be arguments. It does look like it froze any kind of business transaction or like if there's business partners or people you work with or someone you're in love with or whatever, um, it does look like it froze it a little bit out of whack. It's not done or dusted, but just be prepared. There may be a bit of, a, bit of an argument here. Now, it may be around medication as well. This could be something to do with medication. This would be medical. Uh, this would be something being revealed about something medical. So it may be... Um, a medicine or something that is not right. So if you are on some type of medication at the moment, I'm not a doctor. Go to your doctor if things just don't feel right. Um, you may be dealing with someone that needs medication or they're taking the wrong medication. It can be drugs and alcohol as well um, when I see these. But most of your cards look like this really nice journey until I see this. Um, and also with this message being upside down. So just be wary of gossip and lies. It could be something that's not true. Um, I do feel like you might have an imbalance where either you're not committed anymore or somebody else is not committed anymore and you're trying to pick up the pieces here. But you've got a beautiful love journey with your soulmate here, um, Cancer. Your messages for Cancer are... Messages for Cancer. Messages for Cancer. Oh, well, we got two. We'll give them to you. Okay, you make somebody happy. It looks like a 50-50 split. Do not overthink something and something to do with a baby boy. Okay, I didn't even pick up on it. Oh yeah, baby boy is over here. Baby boy, baby boy. Yeah, there's something to do with a baby boy as well. Um, yeah, it may be an argument about a child uh, that you've got sitting there. Maybe some sort of stress around that kind of thing. Um, but all in all, sun and star in the reading. Wow, congratulations, um, Cancer. Okay, moving right along to Leo. What are we getting for the Leo babies out there? Happy birthday if it is Leo season. I'm not sure if we've gone from one to the other yet. I know that um, I think the 21st is still Cancer. Um, and then it's on the cusp, isn't it? Um, and if you do know which one it is um, and where the cusp is, uh, please put it in my comments. Okay, Leo, this is looking pretty damn nice. Uh, if in the past there's been some sort of interference, third party situation, doesn't have to be a romantic type thing, it could be parents, bosses, exes interfering in your lifestyle, even children, 
you've made a firm decision to move forward. It looks like the right decision. You've got a beautiful balance here. You've got a soulmate energy here. Uh, then you've got the Knight of Wands. Can be flirty behavior, can be player energy. Um, this is like a solid commitment. This is more like fun and games. Um, but it does look like you might be going on a nice journey. That could also be travel plans are coming up for um, some of the Leo people out there. Wow, um, I think those cards need to be uh, shuffled and used for Leo because uh, we only want five cards. It's going to be pretty hard to shuffle a few cards that I've got here. I've probably got six cards here and I need five. What's the messages for Leo? Wow, some of you are making a business decision here and it's very, very good. It's something you've been passionate about. It's more or less like buying a new house and this is the new family home. There may be a marriage, uh, new job opportunities. This is the two kings discussing the new plan. All the work and hard efforts is gonna pay off. All the studies is gonna pay off. Congratulations, Leo, this is looking beautiful. Beautiful energy. For others, this is simply the messenger and this is, um, <coughs> excuse me, this is either an engagement or a wedding or a new business deal. Beautiful energy around um, Leo today. Messages for Leo are, happy days are there, uh, ahead. Someone from the past making a connection. And last card for Leo is, pamper yourself and take time out. So if anything does get stressful, time to take a time out. But yeah, it's looking pretty damn good there, um, Leo. Wow, I wish I was a Leo. I don't even have it in my chart. Okay, so moving right along to good old Virgo, the Earth sign. Oh dear, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Okay, I see lots and lots of nightmares, stress, trying to make a decision, not sure what to do. It's either you or someone you're dealing with here. Sleepless nights, Virgo. I'm pretty sure you got this last time, uh, last time I looked at your cards. We do have the Ten of Cups, which is happiness, love, marriage, stability, um, good health and vibrance. Unfortunately, it's showing upside down. So I feel that for those of you in a uh, couple's relationship, a long-term relationship, I do feel like the love and the happiness and the being together is there. But I do see that there's something in the past that causes some sort of stress and an imbalance for this to be showing up upside down. Some of you might be thinking of walking away from a long-term relationship, or you're worried that somebody else is gonna walk away from the long-term relationship. Now, I'd like to know who the Page of Swords is sitting there. That would be an air sign. Um, usually it would be a child energy, someone that's you know like a teenager or a baby. Um, but it's usually something to do with impulsive actions. So if you are in a long-term relationship that has had some sort of issues, there's some sort of stress going on, someone's crying, um, someone's stressed, someone's not sleeping properly. It could be you, Virgo, that's not sleeping properly. You need to get to the bottom of who this is over here because it looks like this is sort of, um, it can be where someone sort of rushes out and blurts something out or you might make a hesitant decision to do something and then it throws whatever's making you happy, it throws it into disarray. So let's just get some messages for Virgo. What else is going on around Virgo? Did you see that? The five of spades just flipped out. That's something to do about lies. It can be something to do about work as well. Uh, let's just see who this person is. Is this, this a family member or is this just something outside of the family? Uh, for others, this could be where you've had some sort of sickness and problem. It's getting better, but it's not quite there. Uh, and don't be too quick to, if you haven't been well, don't be too quick to rush out and do something else because you could end up back in the sick bed. Um, but let's just have a look. And for some of you, you might be stressing about a wedding that's just not happening. Um, and you're wanting to be impulsive and say, hey, let's just do it. Let's just go and get married. Um, so let's see what we get for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? The cards are not jumping out for Virgo. Okay, let's stop. I was going to put six. Mm. What did you have at the bottom, Virgo? Yeah, you got the medical, the new... Are some of you going through some sort of medical thing? Because this would be a new opinion from a new doctor, getting more information, and that would be the hospital that come out. 
Um, for those of you with any kind of hospital thing, it looks like October means something. Um, October could be make it or break it sort of thing. Uh, within work, it looks like you're very stressed with work. There's some sort of imbalance going on over here. Um, we do have marriage card and a marriage card, stability card, but then we have this black card. It's almost like for those of you that are divorced, you're dealing with an ex. Uh, for those of you in a relationship, there may be an ex hanging around or it's, it's sort of like you make a decision, they make a decision. It's like you are on opposite ends of the spectrum. There's some sort of discussion that needs to happen. Now, for those of you, you might be dealing with a um, water sign here. We've got a water sign over here, male or female. So we've got an air sign, a water sign, and this is Virgo, which is earth sign. Uh, there's some sort of discussions going on. Some of it will be worked out. It does look like there's been stress in the past. If we look at that there, there's some sort of solidarity here where you're banding together with someone you're close to. Um, I do think that's a marriage right there. And then over here, we've got discussions that need to happen. There's some sort of change either you need to make Virgo or the person you're dealing with needs to make. Um, and you might be dealing with this air sign Virgo and you need to make the right choices here right now, not just for you, but for everybody concerned. Uh, if there is a medical issue, you might be needing to go talk to a new doctor, get new information. Um, if it's a work-related matter, that would be a new financial journey here. It might be getting a new job or something. And look what's underneath, force changes going on, seven spades. Okay, messages for Virgo, please. It looks a bit stressed for Virgo. <coughs> what else does Virgo need to know? Baby girl, okay. Um, not feeling that in there, but the nine can be a cesarean birth and a lot of happiness. Um, but that would be baby boy or girl, so yeah baby girl that's my google home underneath near my feet something will just feel right um, new love is being rekindled if you're in a long-term relationship it's about to kick back off um, if you're single you're going to have a new start um, so either you've got new love coming into the picture if you're single um, and if you're already involved it looks like if there's been some sort of stress which it looks like there has um, it's about to start again it's about to kick back off okay and that's Virgo Libra how are we going with the battery yes I should be able to get these three out uh, Libra we're not going to turn him upside down we have the player energy there or the boss I feel like some Libra people are being offered a new opportunity and you're not sure what to do so you need to sit down and talk with your parents with your husband with your wife with your boss whoever it is and work out what choices make you happy um, you're making a firm choice in your mind but then you're a bit confused over here I do feel you'll be dealing with a fire sign over the next um, coming days or weeks possibly a Leo um, Leo oh, what's the other two signs guys um, fire signs Leo Sagittarius Aries I believe um, so you might be dealing with that energy right now I feel some of you are getting job opportunities some of you might be moving house uh, you might be moving new jobs new relationships new house um, that's nice energy there with that seven of cups because it's seven of hearts and I just remember what I dreamt about now uh, thinking about that movement and everything okay so you got three sevens here July is going to be a, a very big thing for you there's going to be movement in the right direction, movement in the wrong direction. There's going to be forced changes going on, possibly around your work. It's going to be extremely beneficial. Some of you are becoming a student. You're going to be better at this than you thought. I feel this is self-doubt here, this red seven, black seven. We have two red sevens here. Someone that died in July or was born in July on the other side, they want what's best for you. And it can be someone that's alive right now that's born in July. There may be some sort of celebration going on. It looks like the celebration doesn't happen for some reason. Um, some of you might be going into medical. Um, some of you just might be learning something new. This would be like the boss. This is the student. This is where you make your firm decisions. Do not second guess yourself. If you are told that you're good at something, you're good at something and keep going with it. 
um, but I do feel there's choices being made. There may be some decision here where you're letting go of something from the past as well, or you're hanging on to it. Let's see what the messages are for Libra right now. Messages for Libra. You get, you're half right, you need more information. This is a 50-50 here. Uh, you may be getting in contact with someone, a uh, form of an email or something, it doesn't make sense. Um, there's truth and lies in it. Wait before you decide what you're going to do and time to walk away from something. Like I just said, you're holding on to something from the past, maybe a romantic um, thing that you're holding on to. It may be a job. Um, but yeah, the success for you guys. If we didn't have these two cards in here, this is really, really good reading. Um, anyway, that's what I've got for Libra. Let's move right along now to... Scorpio, what have we got for Scorpio? Ah, Scorpio, you are the death card. <laughs> so you've come out in your own reading. You are upside down. There's something, an ending, a new beginning. You want to make a new beginning. It just doesn't seem to be getting anywhere because it is upside down at this time. Uh, sometimes it can be something that you decided to end or kill or it just it didn't serve a purpose anymore you're not quite sure because the death card is upside down. So if it was this way, you've made a firm decision, you're moving forward. Um, no, you haven't made a firm decision. You're deciding, is it over? Isn't it over? Uh, you might be dealing with medical or financial situation at the moment. We've got the Queen of Pentacles sitting here. Uh, you might be analyzing something. You might be over analyzing something and you're still trying to make a decision about your future. Um, this could be to do with health if it's medical. This could be to do with finances if it's business. It's trying to make a choice here. Um, so let's just quickly shuffle for Scorpio. And my battery is at 9%. Okay, I've got to hurry up. <laughs> Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio are... Get them out ready. Scorpio. Yeah, you're half and half. You're half in, you're half out. You're not sure which way to go. Um, if you've had any health matters, it looks like it's about to turn around. There's a lot of female energy here. So you might be dealing with females this week. You might be dealing with a water sign, an earth sign and an air sign. Um, be prepared for arguments rather than um, nice, happy little conversations. There's a lot of hard work ahead, but you're very passionate about and driven about what you want to do. You may be frustrated with females as well. This might be daughters, it might be sisters, it might be your mother, it might be your wife. Um, but yeah, there's some sort of frustration around females, but it looks like everything will work out. It's a 50-50 kind of thing. Some of you might be holding on to property because this could be a house. Some of you might have inherited something and this would be the lawyer. Um, don't hold on to it because of a... Uh, a feeling. Um, if you need to sell it because you need the money, you need to sell it. Um, and the same with business. It's like a lot of hard work. Is it going to be worth it? It does look like it, yes. Um, but whatever the decision was that you made to finish something, end something, it looks like you changed your mind. Um, it looks like it might have been a good decision at this point. October, you will know. October you will know, or 10 weeks time, you will know whether it was the right decision or not. Um, so your message cards are, wishes will finally come true, time to let something go, and the balance will finally be restored. Like I said, the balance is coming back in because you've had those tens, one of each. Be wary of truth and lies as well. Um, so let's get straight to it for Sagittarius. Your cards are hanging around. Uh, dealing with a liar <laughs> and then making a firm commitment and a strong deal. Now, for some of you, I feel this might be a business transaction. It may be where you've been waiting for a job, waiting for a pay rise, waiting to hear information about a job. Um, you're not too sure about whether the information you're getting is correct. Uh, we have the King of Swords sitting here, so you may be dealing with an air sign. You might be dealing with the police, the law. Um, you might even be dealing with military type things. Um, it may be nothing to do with that. It may be a black haired gentleman. Um, but when he's upside down, usually upright, it's all about the truth and fast pace and let's get this thing happening. When it's upside down, it can be that you're not getting all the truth at this time. But it does look like you're going to be signing documents in the near future. 
um, or maybe you're getting a new job or maybe you're leaving a job and this is your sign away papers um, I don't feel this is anything to do with romance at the moment I think it's just um, as I said I've already pre-shuffled all of these ready to go um, yeah I just don't think it's um, romance I'm looking at here if it was a romantic thing I'd have to say that you're hanging around waiting to know whether this is true or not and then you finally get clarity over here uh, what else have we got for Sagittarian people we've got a third party connection we've got a payout okay this this guy is actually talking about something to do with pregnancy triple freeze wow now this can be family friends fun um, can be sex uh, this over here usually represents a cesarean birth I'd have to say it's a female the child I think it's a little girl um, also I don't like that your cards are red here and they're turning black it's almost like whatever this decision is uh, it's almost like you're removing yourself from something you just feel like somebody's never going to learn a lesson and you're removing yourself from that person um, I do feel over here you might be in and out of friendships uh, you might even be the third party yourself it might be where you're dealing and you're stepping into a new sort of friendship a new beginning um, it's it's good with the money because it's almost like hanging around waiting for this money to go up if this is a court dealing I think it would have to be around children family a family business something like that it might be where you're waiting for something to come out um, and the weight is good financially because it's sort of like if this was three thousand dollars it's more like nine thousand dollars so the weight is worth the efforts um, because this is a good document in your favor um, as I said everything was pre-shuffled so your message cards for Sagittarius are it's going to be meeting someone new now I do feel this would be more to do with a business side of things or a friendship I don't feel this is a romantic partnership um, some of you might be getting a payout as well um, but meeting someone new an invitation is coming that would be the invitation over there I'd have to say the invitation is something to do with a new baby a new friend in the family um, something to do with females as well um, and you will be very happy soon Sagittarius so that's very nice information um, just uh, while I'm looking at these cards it can be something to do with a health matter this may be surgery and this may be where it's successful and everything feels good uh, you may be dealing with twins or triplets or uh, some sort of multiple birth type thing going on um, it may be that you've had two children and you're waiting for one coming along the way um, but yeah if this has been some sort of surgery I'd have to say it's around the kidneys the bowel the bladder the sexual organs something like that or even the lower back be prepared for a little bit of a hiccup there it's almost like something that corrects something and then there's something that sort of shows up that needs a bit of correction over here um, it's nothing major don't get excited um, there is a positive test result in a good way I don't mean you're going to go and get tested for COVID and they're going to say yes you've got it it's more likely um, a positive test you've been waiting for like a positive pregnancy test or a, a positive um, test that you sit um, but yeah just be wary of the liar here especially with these threes everywhere and I do feel you've got a female energy and a male energy in spirit one of them would have died of something to do with surgery and the pelvic area the other person possibly died as a result of something to do with their head um, but anyway that's what I've got for Sagittarius at the moment I hope that has helped you in some way and I'll catch everybody um, the next time round